Sacha Alley is a music video project where we shoot bands and artists around laneways and alleyways in Melbourne. So that can be anywhere from you know, Brunswick down to St Kilda in the city um, and a whole bunch of locations in between. The usual process that we start with um, getting bands involved is if they've got a gig or an international tour around a particular venue, we usually coordinate with their tour manager or their label to have an artist perform in the alleyway located nearby. So that presents its own challenges um, with you know, ambient noise and um, locations and you know, we want to try and minimise any disruptions and have, and have the audio and the visuals quite smooth and, and rich and natural and everything else. Also it's one take, so we just get what we get. Initially dogs barking that I was a bit worried about but now I kind of think that that's kind of part of it and it's quite good and on the passenger video there are a lot of birds and a lot of dogs and there's a train and I actually think it really adds to it. There's challenges of shooting in different lanes around Melbourne. I, mean, I think the city is really renowned for its graffiti and more raw and kind of urban nature and places like Brunswick and Northcote have a real suburban feel and you know the birds chirping and the, and the dogs barking and that sort of lends itself to more of a folky kind of style. And the different seasons I guess bring different things as well. When we started doing this about a year ago it was kind of in the middle of winter and um, the first couple were probably a bit, you know, a bit of a challenge for some of the bands but um, you know, as you move through summer you get the benefit of daylight saving during the week and everything else and then now we've just you know, shot this one in the, sort of in the middle of um, autumn and the trees are amazing, you know, there's just really nice green leaves everywhere and um, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to have that diversity and that's mm. part of the love of you know, Melbourne in itself. Sometimes some of the neighbours, particularly in the suburban ones, do hear things going on and we did one with about three different bands recently just in Northcote where they performed a Kinks track as a cover. And it was really interesting because three different bands were performed a verse each. By the end of the song, because we were sort of at this T section, there were houses on each corner. All the people in the neighbouring houses all erupted and were just clapping and joining along with everyone else. So that's kind of nice. It's nice that in any instance that we've been on a shoot, there's, no, there's no, been no one you know, who's been had any concerns with it. If, if anything, it's quite the opposite. The Australian Ballet video was really interesting because it was one of the first sort of night shoots that we were doing and that brings its own challenges, particularly when you don't have the luxury of daylight. And because of that challenge, you do have to put yourself in a position where there's some ambient light coming from a building nearby or you know, something that does bring a bit of warmth to the, to the environment. We don't, we don't like to shoot with any extra lights. Sometimes it's unavoidable and, and it kind of does bring something to it, but in this instance, the location that we shot by was a gallery space on Guildford Lane, just out of the city here. And that just made an amazing backdrop for these dancers who were silhouetted behind this, in some ways it looks a bit like a warehouse kind of situation. And I think that really added to the contours and the, the tone of the piece and its intention as well. Alison Top, who's the choreographer for that piece, was very much about expression and trying to bring that across. And I think the light actually definitely helped in that situation.